We're now going to focus on charting in Excel. One of the things that we always want to keep in mind as we're developing charts is that every chart should tell a story as quickly and effectively as possible. Every extra chart element that's on the chart creates noise and gets in the way of the story and is therefore a best practice to remove as much excess ink or noise as we can so the reader can actually look at the chart, get in, get the information they need, and get out as quickly as possible. We're going to start by charting Old McDonald's sales here. We're going to use a column chart to do it and then customize it to make it look as good as we possibly can. To start with, we'll select our data and then we'll go to the Insert tab and we're going to go click on Recommended Charts. And you'll notice that right away the recommended chart is a clustered column chart for this data. So that's nice and easy. Let's go select that and say OK. And it'll build us a chart that's not too bad but we can make some differences to this, make this look a little bit better here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on one of these data series here, and I'm gonna say add data labels, and we'll add data labels to it. There we go. With the data labels in place, I really don't need the lines across here or the vertical axis that shows these numbers. So I can select these and say delete, and I can select the lines here and also say delete. So that removes some of the noise and actually makes this look a little bit cleaner. Now, in addition to this, I can go through and I can do some other things. I could right click on these series here and say format data series. And I could change the series overlap and gap widths to different values. So maybe I'll set this gap width, I'll slide it down here and get to somewhere around say 60% to make those numbers look a little bit bigger. I may also want to change the position of these numbers. And you'll notice when I select them that it comes up with a format data labels uh, right off the bat. I could click on this little charting thing over the side here, and I could change my label position to inside base. Now that's not bad, but they're kind of dark. It's hard to see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Home tab, and I'm going to change my font to white and set it to bold as well to make sure that these pop out a little bit more. The final thing that I'm going to do with this particular chart is I'm going to change the header on it. I'm going to select where it says May. I'm going to type in equals and notice that the header doesn't change. It doesn't say equals here but it is showing in the formula bar. If that's not the case you want to select outside the chart and try again. But What I'm going to do is I'm going to click number of animals sold. I'm going to say enter and I now have a good title on my chart. I can dismiss the task pane, I can click in the worksheet cells, and I now have a nice clean chart that allows my user to very quickly get the idea that beef sales are the highest, but still gives them the numbers to look at in order to try and figure out exactly what they want. So I've reduced as much ink as possible, I've removed as many elements from the chart as I possibly could to let the user just focus on getting the exact message they need as quickly as possible so they can jump out to do other work.